good event, but only when you start putting it all together and just seeing how big it is, it's unbelievable. From Dakar preparations to the Escort 250, part of the Natal Off-Road Motor Club's regional race program, which took place in August. We're fortunate that we've done every race and finished every race so far this year, and that's put us in the lead of the championship. We're going to be pushing hard today, and hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Interesting race, uh, because uh, there's quite a few uh, gates and turns and so on. So I think the quads will actually do fairly well today. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be quite challenging. It's be awesome. My first time out in this car, racing with my daughter. It's going to be very fast track, we think. It looks like it's been well marked and well sorted out. So we're going to go and have some fun. And off they go. Plenty of eyes on the experienced pair of Reg Sutton and Warren Benneker driving a well-turned-out Zarko Magnum. In Class B, a man we've seen a lot of in the Donaldson Cross Country Championship, James Watson going solo in a mighty mag. On board now with Rob Spencer and Kevin Teron, who we heard from earlier in their Zarco light. A small tree saying adios to their camera. Ian McLean and Luke Van Dort in a Zarco Junior. Here's Stephen Mara and Sean Braithwaite. They came 10th overall during qualifying. The popular and very skillful Tony Ball in contention in his mighty mag. The race is another glorious feather in the cap of the Natal Off-Road Motor Club, which staged the very first off-road event in the area in 1983. The first vehicle in Class P in action, Don Thompson alongside Wayne Foster. 34 minutes and 36 seconds for them in qualifying. Here's a familiar car. Now the side-by-side -side car is becoming a lot more popular. And this Polaris is being put to the test by Gareth Woolridge and Simon Harrison. The pair are going along brilliantly and are certainly challenging the front runners. But they do appear to be a little lost. Let's hope for their sake they find their feet because a podium place could be a possibility for this up and coming vehicle. Not getting lost and coming home in first place, Reg Sutton and Warren Bianca. Yeah, it was a fantastic result. It was not an easy day. We had a misfire that we can't work out where it's coming from. So for the last lap and a half, I think it was, we battled. But uh, I, one of those things, you live with it. So an impressive victory for Sutton and Bienica, finishing just under three minutes clear of James Watson, while Spencer and Teron completed the overall podium.